The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was teaching in a synagogue on the Sabbath, and a woman was there who for 18 years had been crippled by a spirit. She was bent over, completely incapable of standing erect. When Jesus saw her, he called to her and said, Woman, you are set free of your infirmity. He laid his hands on her, and she at once stood up straight and glorified God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant, that Jesus had cured on the Sabbath, said to the crowd in reply, There are six days when work should be done. Come on, those days to be cured, not on the Sabbath day. The Lord said to him in reply, Hypocrites, does not each one of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his ass from the manger and lead it out for watering? This daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound for 18 years now, ought she not to have been set free on the Sabbath day from this bondage? When he said this, all his adversaries were humiliated, and the whole crowd rejoiced at all the splendid deeds done by him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We always pray for the grace to hear what we ought to hear. We see what we ought to see, that we might be that we might do what we ought to do. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, you have heard this many times, that the mouth speaks from the abundance of the heart. The mouth speaks from the abundance of the heart. And even someone have said this, no religious robes, can cover a wicked man to hide his wickedness. No religious robe can cover a wicked man to hide his wickedness. The gospel speaks of that. It is not your position, it is not your title, it is not the reputation, the good reputation, and perhaps the plaque, the adulation, name it. You can call it honoris causa. Can hide your wickedness if you are really wicked. But the opposite is in the first reading. Your words will reveal how good you are. Kaya nga, may kasabihan tayo sa wikang Tagalog, ang isda ay palaging nahuhuli sa bibig. Ang isda ay palaging nahuhuli sa bibig. Kung anong madalas na pinag-uusapan ng sino man, sabi, yun ang kalooban ng taong yan. Kaya nga paulit-ulit na sinasabi, bantayan mo ang iyong iniisip sapagkat ang iyong iniisip ay magiging iyong bukang bibig. Ang iyong bukang bibig ay magiging iyong pagkilos. Ang iyong pagkilos ay magiging iyong pag-uugali. Ang iyong pag-uugali ay magiging iyong pagkatao. At ang iyong pagkatao ay magiging iyong bukas. Hindi may tatago. Hindi may tatago ng sino man sa habang panahon ang laman ng kanyang puso. Kailangan nating bantayan ang ating kalooban. 
people are betrayed by their attitudes. You fail to become what you want to be, not because you don't have the strength, but because you have failed to look into your attitude. And many times I have said this, our attitude is the librarian of our past. It is the speaker of the present. And it is the prophet of our future. Our attitude is the librarian of the past, the speaker of the present, and the prophet of our future. Today we are being invited. What is in my heart? Because I can always pretend, but later on, I will be, I will be betrayed by my own attitude. Magandang pagtuulan ng pansin ito. My late spiritual director, Father Ben Carlos, would always inculcate this in my mind. That it is not enough to be right. It is not always enough to be right. Learn to choose the most loving thing to do. Yes, it is forbidden to do work on Sabbath according to, to Judaism in their 613 laws. That was the question yesterday. But Jesus had chosen to do what is loving over what is right. Amen. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, you cannot always hide what is in your heart because from the abundance of your heart the mouth speaks palaging sa bibig na huli ang isda kaya nga ano sabi ni San Pablo ingatan kung ano ang pinag-uusapan ingatan kung sino ang kausap avoid talking evil it speaks of what is good and beautiful. My brothers and sisters, that's why we always say this. We ask for the grace to become a better person today than yesterday. It means we work on our attitude, not on the reputation of people. We work on our attitude, not on the reputation of people. Reputation is how we are perceived. Character is who we are. Do not forget this. Your attitude is the librarian of your past, the speaker of your present, and the prophet of your future. The only way to change our life is to change our attitude. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.